Consider the 2015 stock market reports for developed countries. Securities on the New York Stock Exchange in the United States, those in London, Zurich, Hong Kong, Japan and Paris, just to name a few. The Dow is down, the S&P 500 is down, London is down, CAC 40 in Paris is down, Zurich is down, Hang Seng in Hong Kong is down, Nikkei in Japan is down. But Jamaica is up. As evidenced by this headline from the reputable financial and media company Bloomberg, yes, the Jamaica Stock Exchange was the best performer in the world in 2015, growing by over 90%. The over 90% growth of the Jamaica Stock Exchange, JSE, in 2015 was not coincidental. It was the result of hard work by the government and several stakeholders under Jamaica's economic reform program. There are several factors. The macroeconomic condition, the stable macroeconomic condition, the fact that interest rate has fallen and so investors are looking at other options for investment. It is due to an improvement in investor confidence, both local and international investor confidence, which comes on the back of the country's successful navigation of 10 consecutive IMF performance reviews. Passing the quarterly tests by the International Monetary Fund, IMF, is not only about quantitative targets like meeting the primary surplus target. It is also about structural benchmarks, changes to the way in which the country carries out aspects of its operations, for example, things that improve the way business is conducted. Point of information, Jamaica was ranked in the top 10 most improved economies in the world on the World Bank's Doing Business Report 2016. On top of that, the economy grew in 2015, recording 1.5% in the September quarter. That has had a positive impact on corporate earnings. So most of the companies, listed companies, have been making more profit, they have been paying more dividends, and that has led to an increase in demand for those stocks, and that is what has driven up stock prices. The stock market is a leading indicator. It tells you where the economy is going. So because of the skillful management of the economy by Dr. Peter Phillips and his team, the stock market is on the up in contrast to what is happening globally. When you look at the exchange also, we have constantly provided a fair and efficient stock market. And by that I mean that it is stable, it is well regulated. So when you put all those factors together, persons have now seen the advantage of coming back to market. The JSE also launched its online trading platform in May 2015 to allow persons to buy and sell securities via the internet, targeting investors both locally and overseas. Well, it is still new and so the broker members who are involved in it are courting persons to trade online and we have seen um, within uh, uh, 2015 that we had over a million transactions across the market. While it is not a large amount, um, this is how markets work. It takes time for persons to come on board. So let's make the link. Changes in Jamaica under the Economic Reform Program have led to a number of positive things, including the buoyancy of Jamaica's stock market. But how does the positive gains of the stock market affect me and you, the average man on the street? Well, for one, companies will invest more to expand and grow their businesses. They will then be able to employ more people and possibly reduce the cost of production. It also uh, extends to the normal man on the road in terms of what is the price of that product? What are they able to sell those products for? So the competition, they are more competitive mm -hmm. to foreign um, goods and services. Plus, when you look at the companies that are listed on the exchange, 75 to 80 percent of the corporate tax that the government gets is earned from the companies that are listed. And with more revenue, government will be better able to provide critical services such as healthcare, education, and improving infrastructure. What we see in 2016 is accelerated economic growth and we see the stock market playing a very important role as a vehicle in that acceleration. Dr. Peter Phillips, the Finance Minister, has already indicated 
that a number of government entities will be packaged and divested on the stock exchange. One, it will be a boost for the, for the market. Two, it's very important that the government looks at privatisation through the exchange because what it does is offer more Jamaicans a stake in Jamaica. Also in 2016, nine additional securities are expected to be listed on the JSE. Six from the junior market and the three from the main market. The Jamaica Stock Exchange will also be hosting its 11th Annual Investments and Capital Markets Conference from January 18 to 20. It will be held under the theme, Reaching Beyond Traditional Boundaries, Exploring and Partnering for Growth for All. The conference will also provide an opportunity for networking, the sharing of best practices and partnerships for different products and services. We have not yet explored our culture and, and the benefits for culture. We have not yet explored the performing arts, etc. in terms of the investment opportunities. And we want to explore those at the conference. And ordinary Jamaicans need to take advantage of the booming stock market, buy some stocks, diversify investment portfolios. We want more people in the Jamaican economy, more of the ordinary people to play the market. And you know, it's a long-term investment, so it can be used as part of your pension payments. It can be used for long-term goals such as buying a house. It can be used for long-term goals such as in educating your children. You can sell back your stocks on the market, so it also provides liquidity, capital appreciation, and dividend payment. The Jamaica Stock Exchange, the best performing stock market in the world in 2015, recording over 90% growth. And by all indications, it will help to accelerate Jamaica's economic growth in 2016.